hello everyone welcome back to another video and in today's tutorial i will be showing you how you can create an iphone notification animation by using canva so without further ado now let's get started for that first we are going to create a design i'm going to click on it and from right here i'm going to search for instagram reel here i'm going to select this now we need an iphone for that i'm going to go to the elements here i'm searched for the iphone here just click on it I'm going to click on the graphics and from right here I'm going to choose one now let's see if this one works yeah this one looks good because there's a little shade right here so we're going to use this one I'm going to make it a little bigger so it covers the whole screen just like that and now we have the iPhone let's add a background for this one now let's close this one out and then select go shapes I'm going to place it right here so we will be using this for the background okay so this covers everything I'm going to right click on it and then go to the layers and send it to back now you see there's a shade right here this is perfect for us so now I'm going to select both of these and I'll group them so they won't go anywhere so now our background is ready let's make another copy of this and place it right here and now by keep on selecting the next part we're going to add some of the elements for example we'll add the time we'll add the wi-fi sign and right here we'll add the signals and then right here we'll add our notification so now let's just select this and then ungroup it and let's remove the background layer sorry i'm just going to right click on it and then go to layers send to back then delete this one now let's add the background for our iPhone for that we're going to need uh, a frame for this uh, we'll use this frame again once this covers everything uh, let's just put it in the background uh, but first let's add some of the images on top of this one and now this one doesn't look good so let's just find another one uh, let's choose this one right here now let's just put it in the back for example for that i'm going to right click on it go to the layers and send to back now our background is ready let's add some wi-fi signs or the battery signs right here on the top and let's just search for the wi-fi icon and let's select this and put it right here and now our wi-fi icon is done let's move on to the signal we need something like this so let's just find out and now we have our wi-fi and the signals icon I'm going to put the signal right here and the Wi-Fi sign right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see better. I'm going to put the Wi-Fi sign just right here. Now let's search for the battery icon and let's use this one. I'm going to place it right here, right beside the Wi-Fi. Let us put the signals right here and the battery sign right here. Yeah, this looks perfect. Now let's just zoom back and see if this looks good. Yeah, this one looks alright. Now let's add time for this one. Let's use the text. Add a heading. Uh, write the time, for example, 9.30. Let's choose the font for that we'll be using. Uh, we'll be using this font. We'll remove the bold. let's select all of this remove the ball put it right here uh, once you're done adding time let's add the notification for that we're going to use the elements again and then i'm going to remove this simple rectangle just like this now i'm going to place it in the middle for that i'm going to right click on it align to page and then in the center now by keep on selecting this let's change your color to something black or maybe something yeah this one looks all right now let's select this uh, add the transparency to about 75% let's increase it about something 80 yeah this one looks all right so now our notification background is ready let's move on to the notification for that let's search for the message icon if you have the pro version of the canva this one is the best choice but for now we're going to use this one I'm going to select it I'm going to flip it And I'm going to place it right here. Now I'm going to change its color to white. Now let's add the text. 
for that let's use the text add a subheading just select its color to white Uh, let's select all of this Montserrat. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see clear. Yeah, this one looks all right. Uh, let's add the text. For that, I'll be using again the subheading and place it right here. Now I'm going to copy whatever text messages and I'm going to place it right here. Again, I'm going to select it. Remove the bold. Add the color to white. Change his font to Montserrat and then I'm going to place it right here. Let's add a line right here. For that, I'll be using the elements. Let's remove this, go to the shapes, and then select this. I'm going to place it from this point to this point right here. Let's adjust our message. Let's just align these two. Now that line is in center. Let's move a message to a little bit up. And we are done. Let's just select all of these elements and then group them together so we can use them as animation. And yeah, uh, we are good to go now. Also, make sure these are all aligned to the center. Yeah, we're good. And let's just see if this is the line. Yeah, it is already in the center and we're good to go. Uh, if we play our video, I'm going to reduce the time to about two seconds. And again, I'm going to play the video. So this will look like this. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to add some animation to it in between. Yeah, this one looks all right so now for this part uh, let's add some of the animations to these let's just group them together add an animation let's choose this for this one uh, for the background and let's just select this click on animate Let's use the fade for this one as well. And then I'm going to send it back to its original position. And then for this and this, we're going to group them together. And we're good to go. Now let's just play the video. And there you have it. You see the animation looks very good let's play it one more time the screen is blank now everything comes up and the notification as well now to save this click on file go to the download and then select the high quality video and then click on download so let's just play this once more let's go from the start play it one more great isn't it and that's how you can create an animation for the notification on iPhone in Canva. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.